We're trapped! No, we're not. Positive thinking, Jiminy. Bollocks. No more saying cuss words, guys. It's inappropriate and violent. What do you think of when you hear the word Disney? Now, some of you may think about Frozen, Wreck-It Ralph, Tangled. Some of you might think about Disney princesses like Snow White, Cinderella or Belle. Some of you might think of the giant evil goblin company that sucks the life force from every franchise whilst making billions of dollars and killing childhoods in the process. But me personally, I think about the Disney Renaissance era. Arguably the best Disney era there has ever been. Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Mulan, The Lion King, The Little Mermaid to name a few. I think what's funny about that is, I'm from a whole generation of people who will also think of the same, and one day, our children will think of the same titles. Just not the same movies. See, because every single film I just listed has or is having a live action remake. Despite the fact that they are some of the best offerings animation could ever give you, certainly the best Disney could offer, and I've got to be honest again, I am tired. Disney is a company many associate with their childhoods, and there are even some people who associate it with their adulthoods. But regardless, this association is positive. People love this company because of the magic it brought to each and every person it touched. Disney was founded in 1923, nearly making it a century old. It was founded by Roy O. Disney and obviously Walt Disney. Roy handled the business side of the company and from what I can tell was a pretty normal guy. Walt on the other hand wasn't, he was a creative, an animator, a part-time Nazi. He was a revolutionary, he made the animation Steamboat Willie, which is the first ever cartoon with sound. Then later on in 1937, Walt created the first ever feature length animation. It also had colour and sound. This was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Since then, Walt himself and the company as a whole have created some of the best and most timeless pieces of cinema ever created. Cinderella, Dumbo, Pinocchio, Alice in Wonderland, The Jungle Book and of course as previously mentioned The Renaissance Era. Despite being pioneers of 2D animation, they seem to have abandoned ship completely, seemingly to favour 3D animation. This is mostly due to the success of Pixar and in some capacity DreamWorks. But in the past 10 years, Disney have made 6 original animated movies and 2 sequels. Whereas they have also made 15 live action remakes or spin offs, and that's not even all of them bearing in mind. But that's nearly double the animated efforts. Now let's look at the quality of all of these films. This is what I'd rate each of the recent animated films Wreck It Ralph, 8. Frozen, 6. Big Hero 6, 5. Zootopia, 7. Moana, 8. Ralph Breaks the Internet, 4. Frozen 2, 5. Raya and the Last Dragon, 6. Now let's look at the live action stuff. Maleficent, 6. Cinderella, 5. The Jungle Book, 7. Pete's Dragon, 4. Alice Through the Looking Glass, 3. Beauty and the Beast, 5. Christopher Robin, 7. Aladdin, 5. Lady and the Tramp, 4. The Lion King, 2. Dumbo, 4. Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, 4. Mulan, 3. Cruella, 4. And finally, Pinocchio, 3 out of 10. Now, doing the averages, the animated films get an average of about 6 out of 10, and the live action films having an average of about 4 out of 10. Now, that may not seem like a big difference to you, but it is to me. A two point jump is huge on my scale. That's the difference between like Venom and Blade Runner. See, an original idea being a 6 out of 10 means that it's fresh and it's good. Not great, but good. A remake of a great idea turning out to be a 4 is an awful and lifeless time. That's the most accurate description of all of these movies, barring two exceptions. To fully explain my issues with the live action remakes, I'd like to read you my review of Disney's newest attempt, Pinocchio. Pinocchio contains every single problem with the Disney live action remakes squashed into one unbearable time. 
The effects are notably atrocious, besides Pinocchio himself. Everything looks shaky, unfinished, and full of awful decisions. The CGI cat looks like it belongs in a 2000s Barbie movie, and at least if it were, it would find itself in a much more enjoyable and quality time. Tom Hanks is laughably awful, but maybe he just has a laughably awful script. However, Hanks has been known to lift average scripts to greatness, so maybe it's just a living legend losing his touch. I despise the self-ass-kissing scenes of the clocks, which are littered with Disney easter eggs. It's their attempt of telling you, hey, remember all those good movies we made? Remember us, huh? Which isn't a great idea, since the last thing you want to do is let the audience realise they could be watching a much better movie of yours right now. The jokes are awkward at best, popcorn throwing at worst. The Chris Pine joke made me want to crawl into a ball so hard I melt from the force and become a puddle of goo on the sofa. It is insanely hilarious to me that the Pinocchio from Shrek is still the best version of the character we have gotten since the original movie in 1940. There is literally zero reason for you to watch this movie over that original. It is worse in every single way. The only positive decision this movie made was to be a streaming exclusive so nobody wasted their money going to see this summation of Lamentable. 3 out of 10. Now if you couldn't tell, I wasn't a fan. Now I could swap around some names in there and usually that review could apply to every single one of these movies. You see my main problem is exactly what I said near the end there. There are zero reasons for you to watch these over the originals, they are worse in every single way. Which is what makes this so aggressively hard to see, because Disney were once a company of innovation, of life. They were synonymous with gorgeous animation and top tier filmmaking. Nowadays they are synonymous with money hungry, soulless and out of touch. Although Disney is a conglomerate that will do just fine with or without my support, I do truly hope the company return to making some of the best animation the world can offer. Now they don't care whether me or one of the other many YouTubers make a shitty video on how shitty their movies have become. Because The Lion King made $1.6 billion at the global box office. They'll be here with or without us, but I hope that people really take a stand and stop groveling whatever Disney is shoveling you next. Now to sign off, I don't have many closing thoughts on this, except that Disney have the live action Little Mermaid coming up. Hocus Pocus 2, Disenchanted, and whatever the fuck Mufasa The Lion King is. And do I have faith in any of these? Of course not. Will I watch them? Sadly, probably. Because despite the facts and the feelings I presented, I'm a hypocrite. I'm part of the problem. I'm simply holding out that Disney recapture their magic somehow in one of these and will make me feel like a child all over again. But until they do, with the exception of these, keep watching movies. Next, what have you got? This little wooden puppet. I'm not a puppet, I'm a real boy. Five shillings for the possessed toy. Take it away. Father, please, don't let them do this. Next.